Hello, the beautiful people of YouTube. Welcome back to another episode of my zombie pros and cons series. This is episode 6, and we will be playing the zombie map 5. So let's go ahead and get that started right now. Alrighty, so like I mentioned in my last video, um, I do not plan on uh, recording and uploading a pros and cons for Dead Ops Arcade, but um, that may change if you guys would like me to go ahead and leave a comment and let me know if you would like that or if you wouldn't like that go ahead and leave a comment for that as well um, let's see um, I have also decided to start running a schedule so I will be planning on uploading these videos uh, pro zombie pros and cons videos every Monday and Thursday so um, that just goes for my channel alone just uh, the Captain Fury channel because it will take a little bit longer for the ZKA clan channel to get my videos uploaded onto their channel so if you want the videos as soon as they come out go ahead and go over to my channel and, subs and subscribe um, that's Captain Fury so th that way you can get the videos as soon as I upload them and they should be going up around six o'clock Mountain Standard Time um, I hope you can be a little lenient with me on that one, a little bit flexible um, I'm like I said I'm not sure if I'm gonna always be able to stick to the schedule but hopefully I will, tr I will try my best I will do my best but I might not be able to sometimes which is okay and I hope you will forgive me so if you haven't already go over to my channel if you're watching this on the ZK clan channel like what I'm saying is go over to my channel and subscribe and uh, let me know if you want me to do a dead ops arcade video alright so back to the pros and cons we are on episode 6 and we are playing the zombie map 5 um, first off, first order of business, um, uh, I'm not, this isn't my favorite map, it's, it's okay, but it's not the best, I mean, I, I'm sure a lot of people feel the same way, but if you don't, uh, don't, don't get mad at me, <laughs> um, oh yeah, just a reminder, this is just my opinion, so don't worry about that, I'm not claiming this as fact or anything like that, so just remember that this is just my opinion. Better get quick revive really quick. And so this isn't my favorite map, which is fine because when Treyarch made this map, I don't believe this. This may not be true, but I don't believe they really put too much effort into this one because this one was just kind of to go along with the campaign mode. It doesn't really play a, play a role in the whole like storyline of zombies this is to my knowledge of course I'm not entirely sure of that but I'm pretty sure that it has nothing to do with the the rest of the the game like, like the normal ones where you go through the Easter eggs and there's like a background story to everything I don't think this is this pertains to that but it may um, <clears throat> which brings me to my first order of business well I guess my second <laughs> Sorry, I already said that before. Um, my first pro is that they they. Sorry, I don't know what I'm looking. I don't know what the, the right words I'm looking for. Um, they made it so that this zombie map kind of played a role in the campaign mode, which I really liked. I liked how they made one specifically for um, campaign mode to kind of go with that. Because if you haven't played campaign mode in Black Ops 1, it once you finish it, it takes you directly to this map, and you play around as and you play a few rounds of zombies if you want. Of course, you can quit. Oop, that was dumb. Um, that's my favorite pro to this map because they made they made it go with the campaign, which I really like, and I really wish they did that with Black Ops 2. I was I was. Looking forward to beating the game just for this map, just to see if I can get, if they give you a map 
that's like this that is incorporated into the campaign mode but unfortunately Black Ops 2 did not to my knowledge of course I've only played the campaign mode once and um, there are several different possible outcomes with the campaign mode so that may change that it could be different for somebody else that played it because they might have gotten something different in the end um, the next pro is the glass barriers I don't know why I like this it's just I think it's nice to have them in the beginning like if you didn't notice one sec let me show you those are still glass and you can break them and then you can rebuild them into the wood which I just thought was kinda cool how they kind of just kinda added that I don't I don't really know why I put that as a pro honestly I guess I was just tired when I thought of my pros and cons um, anyways my next pro is the elevators they kind of they kind of added uh, the element of verticality I think that's the right word um, to the map they made it so that you can kinda of go up and down there's different levels there's different uh, places you can go. Um, the next pro is the traps in this one. There's only two traps, I think. Yeah, only two of them. And they are right here. There's one, and then there's one, another one on the other side. And I like that you have to make them. Like, you have to build it yourself. See, it says access denied requires operational component. Which means you have to go downstairs into the like the intelligence room or whatever or the basement where the laboratory is you have to go to either one of those there's two of them throughout the map and you just kind of they're like switches I'll show you in a minute when I go down there actually like right now when I go down there and throw some grenades and you put it into that trap and you can then activate the trap and it becomes useful but I mean I'm, I never really use them because I don't think it's worth it because zombies can still come at you from other sides so it's not really worth it in my eyes um, my next pro is that you can pull these DEFCON switches and you can change them there's five four four of them I don't know <laughs> I can't count very well um, there's a few of them I guess I could say and when you pull them, the number rises up to five. And once it gets to five, you can, once you pull the fifth one, or make it so it turns to five, you are then allowed to go to the Pack-a-Punch machine. And the way you do that is by going through a teleporter, which one will show up right there once you turn on the power. And so that's kind of cool. Um, as you know from my past zombie pros and cons. I love when they make you do something to get to the Pack-a-Punch machine. I don't like them just giving it to you like they, didn't, like they kind of did in Kino de Toten. I like when they make you do something and actually put some effort into it and it's something that you wouldn't think to do the first time you play this map. So like the first time I played this I had no idea how to get to the Pack-a-Punch pack machine. I would have never thought of going over to these switches and pulling each one I would have never thought of that so I like that they um, added more interaction with the map in that way so there's another one and there's another one somewhere over there and it's over there right there and I like that it makes it a lot more fun um, let's see my next pro let's go downstairs if I can to show you my next pro. I'll probably die doing this because I'm really not paying attention. I'm not really doing a good strategy here. Using up my, all my points to go downstairs. Um, the Let's see. Let's turn on the power first and I'll show you. Um, my next pro is all the mini teleporters. There's a ton of them all over the, all over the map. There's one right there. There's one over there. One over there. One over there. And there's a couple more too, I think. Never mind, that's that might be it. No, oh, there's one more over there in that corner. But I like how they did this. They didn't just have one teleporter like they did in Kino de Toten, or I guess yeah, just Kino de Toten. I like how they're just many things. You don't have to um, like you don't have to link them or anything. They're just quick and small. And I don't know. I just like that. It makes it kind of cool 
and add something new throughout the map. Um, my next and last pro is this laboratory lab. Um, it's creepy. <laughs> you got pigs in there. That one you can stab and, it, and you can kill it. Um, you got these cages and it's just creepy. And I love that. <laughs> I love creepy zombies. They're just a lot of fun. Um, so that's about it for my pros. Let's see. Let's try to teleport back upstairs. <laughs> I don't like being downstairs. Come on. Alright, so let's move on to the cons. Um, my first main con is that stupid scientist that comes and steals your gun on around like six or five or like you know, usually when the dogs come and stuff here so those are the defcon switches and i hate that dang scientist he is so dumb he comes and takes your gun away whatever whatever gun you're holding in your hand and so it's like you can't get too prepared because then he'll end up coming and taking your gun away and then it just makes you so mad and so frustrating because you don't I mean you want to keep your gun that's kind of the point of having a gun but yeah so I wasn't too happy with that I guess some people would argue with that of course saying that it's more difficult and more entertaining but I don't like it I just don't um, my next con is that the teleporters take you to a random place I don't like that. I like to be able to know where I'm going and to uh, be able to tell, be able to choose which teleporter I go and choose where I go in the map. It would make it a lot easier and faster. Um, some people may argue with that, and that's okay because they may like the the spontaneous random place that it takes you. Um, at my next con is that the map's too small. Um, I can't really argue... Oh, here comes the mad scientist. I can't really argue with the fact that the map's too small because, like I said before, I don't believe Treyarch really meant for this map. Oh my gosh, that guy's creepy. Die! Just kidding, I can't even try. I'm, I've only killed him like once or twice. I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, I don't think... Like I, like I was saying, I don't think Treyarch really tried to make this place big or take too much time on it because well that was weird um, because um, it's just kind of an add-on to the to the oh my gosh I cannot speak today <laughs> to the com campaign mode and so I don't think they really cared too much I, I don't know if I should say that but they didn't put too much time into it if you know what I mean because they mainly just wanted it wanted it to be kind of an add-on, kind of kind of an Easter egg to the campaign mode, which that's a pro in my eyes. So, like I said, I'm not entirely sure if I can consider too small to be a con, but I guess I should. Um, my next con is the characters. <laughs> I don't like the characters. Um, I guess I guess it kind of works and makes sense because it's not an actual zombie map like where it where it like fits into the rest of the storyline but I still don't like the characters I mean it's kinda cool to be to play JFK but I mean I don't really want to play as Nixon or anybody else because they're kinda nerdy guys but I don't know I'd rather play as the traditional guys like Rick Toffin or Nikolai or oh my gosh there's a lot of zombies Oh my gosh. Yeah, I thought I was going to die. Um, so that's about it for my cons. Alright, so let's go back to my pros. I've got one pro to tell you. Um, with the creepy scientist dude, Once, if you kill him, if you manage to kill him, it's really hard because he's always running around and it's, you have a limited time to kill him. Um, if you do manage to kill him, he... I'm not entirely sure. It's been a while since I killed him. I've only killed him like twice, I believe, and that was with and that was in multiplayer. 
I couldn't do it alone because you, he's just too fast. Um, I think that once you kill him, he gives you a random perk. I'm not entirely sure if this this is true. I don't remember. It's been a while since I've done it, but that would be a pro if it really is true. Unless I'm totally lying to you guys, but I I promise I do not mean to. But it is a very good pro if that is the case. So that's all. That's that's it for my pros and cons. And um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are really enjoying this. I have gotten quite a bit of positive feedback, which is good, and it it's reassuring that I'm not wasting my time on here just posting videos that nobody wants to watch. It just makes it makes me feel good to know that people are appreciating the videos. So um, I strongly encourage you to leave a comment. Um, just let me know what you think of the video and of this whole series in general. And um, I'd prefer you to do it on my channel because those I directly get to get get to see and they like go straight to me. But if you do it on the ZKA channel, I will usually um, look at those every, from time to time and I will respond to those if they're directed towards me. But um, if you it'd be a lot easier if you were to just comment on my channel but that's okay if you don't if you don't want to take the time to <laughs> to load my channel up um, let's see I didn't want to go here I wanted to be somewhere else oh shoot um, so anyways thank you so much for watching and don't forget to comment like and subscribe and if you're watching this on the ZKA ch clan channel go over to my channel and subscribe. If you're watching this on my channel, go over to the ZKA, ch clan, ZKA clan channel and subscribe. That'd help them out and they'd appreciate it. And almost as much as I would appreciate it. Um, just kidding. They, they really love their subscribers and their viewers. And you can tell by the videos that they post that they care about their YouTube status and the and their videos. They actually put some time into it. Um, so, anyways, just thank you for watching, and you can choose to either stop watching right now, or continue to watch the gameplay. I will continue to play, and you can watch if you want. <laughs> I don't see why you'd want to, but I guess sometimes I can be entertaining. Oh my gosh, I'm just trying to get back to the first room. I don't like this room. Come on. Um, so, goodbye if you are leaving right now. Um, and thank you so much for watching. Okay, so those of you that stayed, thank you for staying. <laughs> it means a lot, and I hope you like this video so far. Um, I will continue to play. Um, once I can freaking teleport. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention that you that there is a little song easter egg. I think there is in, like, every single zombie map, actually. Um, I just want to teleport to the middle room. Come on. Oh my heck. I don't even want to play anymore. I just want to go back. Let me go. Please. So how are you guys liking the series so far? I... Like I said before, I... Oh, sweet, finally. Um, I want to know. I haven't been getting too much feedback anymore. Um, but I, I... At least I'm getting something, though. That'd be, that's really nice. <laughs> I love getting some, some kind of feedback. Oh, hey, here's one of those trap things. It's, a, it's one of those switches. You go right there, and then you go back... Shoot, didn't want to do that. Gosh dang it, I should have waited. Um... That, anyways, that's one of those trap things. You just go over to the trap things and you place it. I don't know what you really do with it. I've only done it a couple of times because I haven't really cared too much. And it doesn't give you anything. All it is is just a trap and you rarely use it. Um, Alright, so I guess I'll just talk to you guys now. Um, is there any questions that you guys have for me? If you have any questions, go ahead and leave it in the comment section. Or message me if you'd like, whichever you would prefer. I will most likely answer both, or either ways. 
Even if you want to comment a question to me on the ZKA Clan channel, you can go ahead and do that. I will. I usually look at their, I look at my videos on their channel, um, like a couple times a week. I don't, like I don't get notifications or anything like I, like I would on this channel on my channel. But so eventually I will respond to yours to your comments on this if you comment on the ZKA Clan channel. Um. I have recently kind of become a member of the ZKA Clan channel, which is really nice, and I haven't really done anything yet. Like my training starts tomorrow, actually, and I am looking forward to that. That should be a lot of fun, and I hope they can <laughs> train me pretty well because, as you guys can see, I'm not very good at this. <laughs> I'm trying to do better. I try to do good for these videos, but I'm really not good at zombies. So sorry about that. I'm trying my best. Ooh, we should have gone to the into the pack a punch room so I can show you that. If you haven't already seen it, you probably have already seen it though. If you've ever played this map, because it's really not that hard to get to the pack a punch machine. But at least they did something, you know. That's always nice. I love when they, I love interacting with the map, and so that it can ways that you have to in order to thrive in this map. I like that a lot. But you guys already know that. As I've mentioned that in like every video. Ooh, um, if you haven't already, go check out my brand new Minecraft series. I am doing a Minecraft series. Uh, it will be. It's on my channel. Oh no 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 no. Sorry. <laughs> um, it is on my channel, and I plan on like this like this schedule. Um, I do not don't hold me accountable <laughs> to it all the time because I might not always be able to upload videos onto it, um, but I do plan on posting videos every Tuesday and Friday for Minecraft videos, and so if you like Minecraft, enjoy it, or if you don't enjoy it, or if you've never played it before, still, go over to my channel and check out uh, my Minecraft series, it's brand new, and by the time this video gets uploaded, I should have two videos, two Minecraft episodes on there. And I'm trying to keep them around 20 minutes so that they don't get too long or too annoying for you guys. That's what I did with my last two videos on there. And I will hopefully try to continue that. And um, same with that one. If you enjoy that series, go and comment on it. Um, let me know what you think of it. Because I, really, I need to make sure that, I'm, that it's a good one. If not, then, I'm, then I'll spend my time doing something else that you guys would rather watch. Because, like I said, I don't want to waste my time on something nobody wants to watch. So, hopefully, you guys will enjoy it. Sweet, now I can get Juggernaut. Um, so, go ahead and go over there and check that out. I'll put an annotation to go over to that playlist or series, whatever you want to call it. Oh, no! I'll put an annotation. It should be up right now. <laughs> of To go to my Minecraft series. Um, so far, it's looking pretty good. I've got one episode on there right now, at, as I'm speaking. But, like I said, I should have... Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I'm gonna die! Okay, we're good. Why didn't it open? Um, sorry. I'm getting very distracted. I should have another episode up by the time this goes up. And right now, as I'm speaking, there's only one video up on it right now. And it's actually doing pretty good. It's got 20 views as of right now and I uploaded it I think a day or two two days ago I think and which is good because it's brand new so I wouldn't expect people to be, really be looking for my Minecraft videos but I hope you guys will start liking those um, it's been doing pretty good I've gotten a few likes on it and ten comments actually well I think two of them are mine Com replying to comments, so like eight comments, and that's really good for for me in the first two days because, well, I love comments. Sweet nuke, and so, like I said, go over and check out those those videos. I hope you enjoy those as well. I was gonna say, why aren't you guys dying? Oh my gosh, this is like horrible. That's another trouble with this map. It's too small. 
there's not there's, like this is the only place you can run a rape train, and all the other. Oh my gosh, I didn't see that. Dang it, I missed it. Um, that's not very good because I I want big maps. I want big areas to run a rape train every once in a while, and you don't really have much room in here. It's just a small little place, which is okay. But, you know, I want a little bit more. Because, I don't know, it just makes it easier. You can get higher rounds if you can do a rape train. A pretty good rape train. Um, oh my gosh, no! Don't do this to me! Don't do it! I liked these guns. They were doing pretty... What the crap? Why does it keep doing that? Like, it lags... A no! Gosh dang it. Oh, and I hate being in this first place. Oh, that was dumb. I did not like that at all. Oh well. Um, this episode's getting pretty long, so... Just... So I'm just gonna end it right now, actually. I don't want people to look at this video and say, Oh my gosh, it's a half hour long. I do not want to watch that all, my, all day. Um, so I'm going to end it right now. So thank you so much for watching. It means a ton to me. Like, I am really... Oh! It gives you a fire cell. That's what it gives you. Oh my gosh. Where do I go? Open up, open up. And it gives you back your gun, too. Oh, sweet. Um, anyways. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you are enjoying this series. And go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and have a wonderful day.